Hello, everybody. Hello from Bryson City. Sorry I'm late today. Um, had some exciting stuff going on all over the place. So um, things constantly changing right now, but that's just how it is. So the best thing to do is kind of roll with it and make it happen. So um, glad that these Facebook Live videos save themselves. So um, if you expected me this morning at 1130, sorry. And then I know I said three, but more stuff happens. But hey, it's all right. Now you can tune in. So I've had a few people ask about um, drawing eyes, noses, and mouths. So we're going to do that today. Um, if you have pins, that is good. But I've also got um, a whole bunch of markers. Um, I think it's, you know, I personally, I like to draw with pins and markers just as much as I like to draw with pencils. So that's what we're going to be doing. Um, let me switch the camera around here. There we go. All right. So to get started, here's my big bag of pins. I got a couple different sets. I've got uh, this set of um, Pit Artist Pins, which is pretty nice. I've also got another set, Shades of Grey. Not 50, just 6. So, uh, yeah. any adults watching, you, yeah, that's, that was a bad dad joke, sorry. Um, also have this um, Stadler um, pigment liners. These are really cool to draw with as well. And, of course, random selection of various Sharpies, other pencils, and stuff like that. So, I'm going to start off with this double-tipped sharpie so on this end it's got a nice wedge and then on this end it's got your typical sharpie end uh, just really big so here we go so we're going to draw to start off with we're going to draw an eye um one eye is kind of like an almond so I try not to connect these two lines here but then you get your eye like that, and then circle there. Another circle on the inside. This part's going to be black, except for a little corner where there's going to be some light reflected. There we go. And then some lines for the iris. Just like that. And you, of course you have the bottom part of their eye, the, um, the eyelid, the top part of the eyelid, eyelashes, <clears throat> you don't have to go through all. Um, each individual eyelash, you just put one, same thing on this side, just a few there, maybe a few over here too, and of course they got the corner of the eye, just like that, so for practice, You can practice drawing different eyes, you can practice drawing different shapes of eyes. You can draw a mean looking eye. You can draw a sad eye. Or a suspicious eye. <laughs> A surprised eye. And then, of course, um, these are more realistic eyes. But there's always my personal favorite. How many remember doing this when you were in um, elementary school? <laughs> so a bear, a monkey, whatever. But again, the eyes 
Ryan remember Garfield? <laughs> okay. Some noses. Let's see here. Noses, um, depending on, you know, if you're drawing a profile, noses are pretty, pretty straightforward. If you're drawing somebody from the front, so for example, here's a nose. You could draw half and then some eyes there. Here's a nose, some nostrils, again, some eyes, like that. Um, long nose from the front. There you go. This one would have a big black pointed hat on top of it. That'd be a nice switch. Um, you can also draw like what they do with anime and other things. It could be a small nose and big eyes. Um, it just depends. Depends on what you're doing. But pra the, again, with all these techniques, practice, 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 practice. But when I draw a face and I draw a nose, I typically I'll put the nose in first, put some uh, nostrils in, and then that little area above um, above your mouth that is the philtrum. There we go. sunglasses or goggles like I said you can do whatever you want with these these, are, these can be fun a little mustache here there we go so um, so when you draw mouths they can have the of course the the divot there the big top of the bottom of the philtrum come down the lips a little like this bottom um, you have very light filtrum couldn't even tell it's there so but also um, it depends on like the nose and stuff so let me go back up to this guy here for him I do something like this <laughs> that's about all you need just a few little lines to make a mouth mouth can even just be you know when you draw the stick figure but check that out there we go <laughs> So, one last thing. Uh, I also mentioned somebody talked about drawing hands. Um, you can observe a hand. It's pretty easy. But when I sketch a hand, I like to start off with this main part of the hand. And then come into the fingers and the thumb. And you look at how the fingers are. The fingers are going to be spread out. Which again gets you back into the bone structure. There's all these little bones in here and little bones here. Your wrist is made up of a, a lot of little bones. So. But if you're drawing hands for a cartoon, that's a little different.
hand wrapped around. You can draw, um, what is it? Um, the only thing you don't want to do is, I'm sure you guys have seen this, but it'll look like this. <laughs> Unless, of course, that's your character. If you're drawing a cartoon character. And then from this, watch this. Speaking of Garfield earlier. There you go. Now you have a cat's paw. Um, lots of different hands. But make sure you practice. The other thing, too, of course, is to observe. And just look at and follow along. Your own hand. Thumbs up. The other thing too is to look at the inside, how the how your hand is kind of put together. It sort of puts it out there for you. You could come back through and erase these connecting lines, but you can draw and fill in your hand. There's these pads here, and then also your all your lines. You can go to a palm reader, and they can read your lines for you. So, but so a lot of different stuff that you can do: hands, mouths, noses, eyes, and of course. Um, whether you draw realistically, uh, back to what we talked about before with the almond shape here, here. So when you put in your nose, One more thing here. There you go. So yeah, feel free to draw and practice. Explore your markers. Explore the fun things that you can do with them. <laughs> he looks kind of ominous. <laughs> but then you can make him happy. Or maybe not. Now he looks scary. <laughs> so anyway, you have lots of fun with it. Experiment. Try different things. You can say he's my gangster. He's looking for the casino. <laughs> so anyway, uh, remember to post... Um, Post pictures in the comments. I'd like to see your drawings. Uh, also, any suggestions you might have. So it looks like tomorrow um, I had a great suggestion. 
we're going to be doing um, some dragons tomorrow for our class. Um, somebody asked about the Chinese dragon, and I said, well, we could draw a couple of dragons. Maybe even do some color, too. Um, do all sorts of, um, uh, maybe either marker or watercolor to color in the dragon. So, either or. Uh, all would be fun. Um, but, yeah, like I said, take those suggestions. Be happy to take them Let's, um, for the next class, and uh, we'll see you all next time. Bye.